Hey, how you doing? So listen, you ever wonder what airplane mode is? Airplane mode on your phone. Now, everybody's got airplane mode. Does it really work? What does it do when you're on a plane? Should you use it? Should you put it in airplane mode? What is this airplane mode? You want to find out about it? I got the story right here. We're going to get some answers. So just hang it there right there now because here we go. Zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? Good to see you again, and welcome back to the show. As always, hope this is every find everybody safe, healthy, and in good spirits. And remember, if you're new here, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, so you don't actually come with a video. And the thumbs up always helps. I appreciate it. Appreciate your comments. Everybody's commenting, stopping by. I appreciate your, you know, um, means a lot. And uh, today, I got this story about this airplane mode on our phone. You know. I don't know if everybody wonders like I do, is this for real? I mean, should we really use it with all this technology today that we really need to do it? Um, what's the real reason for this airplane mode? Well, I came across this story. I definitely want to share with you. We answered a lot of questions for me. And I'm sure it might help you out with a lot of questions you might have about this airplane mode stuff. All right. Let's see what we got here. And let me see what just happened to this because... For some reason, it looks like I lost it. But it's definitely here. I got it. It's just, I got to pull it back up. My phone must have went into airplane mode by accident. Nah, I'm only kidding. Come on, where are you? Here it comes. It was hiding on me. All right. Airplane mode. What is airplane mode and what happens if you don't use it during flights? Good question. Because I always wonder, like, you know, do everybody put their phone in airplane mode, don't they? What's going on with that? Is airplane mode a necessary inconvenience or an aeronautic myth? We unravel the science behind it and why you still need to use it on your cell phone. If you've flown on a commercial flight more than a handful of times, you know the drill. Once the aircraft door makes that familiar dunk noise upon closing and that cold air starts blasting from overhead, the flight attendant will instruct passengers to switch their phones to airplane mode. And while it's difficult to dis disconnect, especially for a flight that lasts more than a couple of hours, thank God for in-flight Wi-Fi, it says, airplane mode is a necessary inconvenience. So it's a necessary inconvenience. So what is airplane mode exactly? And why do airlines require it? What is airplane mode? Airplane mode, sometimes called flight mode, is a setting on your smartphone that temporarily suspends signals and Wi-Fi, even as the rest of the device remains fully functional. On Android phones, airplane mode is activated by swiping down from the top of the screen two times to open the settings panel. There you'll see an airplane icon. When you activate it, your phone is on airplane mode. On an iPhone, the icon, the icon for airplane mode is in the control center. You can access that by swiping either down from the top right or up from the bottom depending on the age and model of your iPhone. What happens when you put your, I'm sorry. What happens when you put your phone in airplane mode? Your phone stops receiving the radio signals that enable you to send or receive text messages or calls, access web pages or web-based emails such as Gmail or download data. However, text messages that are already downloaded as well as other stored information may be accessible. That includes any documents, games, music, or films you've already saved to your phone. Why is this doing this? My phone right now is going a little crazy. For some reason. Keeps knocking me off of the, uh, the page. 
All right, we got it back. So what happens when you put your phone in airplane mode? Your phone starts receiving the radio signals, enables you to send or receive text messages or calls, access web pages or web-based emails such as Gmail or download data. However, text messages that are already downloaded as well as other stored information may be accessible. That includes any documents, games, music, or films you already saved to your device. Why is airplane mode required? Just like aerodynamics and the science of aviation, the reasons behind requiring airplane mode aren't simple, but in short, airplane mode is required to mitigate any possible interference to sensitive airplane systems, explains Ryan C., a commercial airplane pilot who asked to remain anonymous. Maybe he wants to remain anonymous because he's not supposed to give us information. I don't know, but this guy just don't want to be known who he is, so... These are communication and navigation systems that utilize radio frequencies emitted from the ground. They're the most vulnerable to radio signal interference, he explains, because those same frequencies are used by cell phones and tablets. The radios for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, voice calling, 3G, 4G, and 5G data all use different parts of the radio frequency spectrum. The problem occurs when crosstalk or adjacent channel interference becomes an issue. ACI essentially means that one radio receiver can, can inadvertently pick up a transmission from a transmitter or on a nearby frequency. That transmission can interfere with the intended signal. He uses the ana ana analogy, analogy of listening to an analog FM radio in your car and not being able to hear a song clearly because you picked up a transmission from another station that's transmission that's transmitting on a nearby frequency. On an airplane, if your pilots are navigating a tricky landing or there's a very real emergency on board or on the ground, their communication lines with ground control need to be clear and wide open. And an errant cell phone call can, comp can compromise that. Ryan says that airplane mode has become distinctively more critical with the rollout of 5G by several cellular service providers. Even though airplanes fly, fly up to 40,000 feet in the sky, for the first time, he explains, the signals generated from ground antennas and people's 5G devices might cause interference at the most critical, critical time of a flight. Wow. Since they're very close to the signals used by the airplane's radio altimeters, which bounce a radio signal off the ground and then back to the airplane's antenna. So during descent and landing, especially, that interference signal could make it difficult for the cockpit to discern how far the plane is from the ground. Not a situation anyone wants to be in. No, of course not. You know, you don't want, you don't want to be like... Hey, it looks like it's 100 feet. Meanwhile, it's 10 feet and you're freaking smashing to the ground. It's not a really good idea. What about in-flight Wi-Fi? Most airlines now offer in-flight Wi-Fi as a paid service. So why doesn't that interfere with aircraft communications? Since Wi-Fi functions with satellite signals rather than radio signals, it's not connecting to cell phone towers on the ground. That means if you're willing to pay for it and potentially put up with the slow or spotty connection speeds, you can stream video, surf the internet, and download data while you fly. Still, on domestic U.S. flights, at least, still on U.S. flights, at least, you can make calls using VOIP programs like Skype, WhatsApp, or FaceTime. We suspect that that has a lot to do with industry concerns about distracted and disruptive pa passengers especially those who opt to conduct all their calls on speakerphone. So what happens if you don't put your phone in airplane mode? What actually happens? If you forget to put your phone in airplane mode or purposely try to flaunt the rules, the chances of a disaster are remote. But the consequences of an error could be deadly, so you don't want to chance it. Commercial, commercial pilot Ryan explains that pilots use the plant's radios Use the plant's radio at altimeters to know. That's supposed to be planes. I think they made a mistake. Pilot uses the plane's radio altimeters to know the exact height of the airplane above the terrain below. They especially rely on this data during approaches to land when there is very low visibility due to fog, snow, or bad weather. 
Airplanes that are capable of performing an auto land procedure where the airplane's autopilots land the plane without control inputs from the pilots must have reliable information from the radio altmeters or these landings in low visibility would not be possible. The fear is that if a passenger's 5G capable device is not in airplane mode, it could cause a spurious, a spurious, spurious, I don't know, could cause a problem. Signal to be picked up by the airplane's radio altimeter antenna. This, this could possibly cause an erroneous indication of the plane's height above the runway. As you can imagine, this could have frightening consequences, and it doesn't matter if it's one passion or several who are ignoring the rules. All it takes is one errant signal and a wrong combination of the circumstances for disaster to strike. Wow, makes it kind of scary, right? Like, you really think twice about that, like, you know. You don't want to have a problem like that. Not a, yeah, it's not like in a car you can pull to the side of the road, you know. Does airplane mode save your battery? Good question. If the safety consequences of not switching to airplane mode don't scare you, consider this. Receiving and sending wireless signals is one of the biggest drains on your cell phone battery. So switching to airplane mode saves on battery consumption simply because you can't do as much with your phone as you would with normal connectivity. Battery savings will vary from device to device, but using airplane mode during your flight means that when you do land, you'll have a better chance of having enough battery to call your loved ones or a taxi, check email, or find directions to your hotel. So there you have it, airplane mode. What does it actually do? They say in that, there's a good chance it could interfere with the planes landing, taking off, you know, um, especially now with the 5G. They say it could save your battery a little bit, you know. So I guess it answered a few of the questions there. What actually is it? What does it do? You know, it, it's just, it's basically a, a, a safety thing, you know, so you don't interfere with the pilot's situation or the autopilot situation of landing a plane, pretty much is what they were saying. Why not throw it in airplane mode? You never know. You could be that one person that just doesn't do it and cause a freaking catastrophe. You don't want to be that guy or girl. You just don't want to do that, you know? Well, yeah, so airplane mode, there it is. There you have it. I hope you got something out of that. I hope you understand it more like I did. Now I understand what's going on. Um, I usually try to put it in airplane mode. You know, I do it when I fly. Not realizing how severe it was. I thought it was, you know, I, I kind of figured that's something to do with that. You know, I mean, well, you know, we're not stupid. We knew it has something to do with the, the plane's operation. They let you turn it back on when you're up in the air, you know. And now you can buy Wi-Fi on if you want. So, guys, thanks again for stopping by. I appreciate it. Remember, stay safe, stay healthy. And remember, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon. This way you don't know, actually come out with a video. And a thumbs up always helps. And I love your comments. You leave comments. I'll definitely get back to you. Until next time, take care of yourselves. I'm out of here. So long.